Hey all, Jin Lee here, and I know others have already talked about this. There's been plenty of feedback to specs regarding this, but I think the more voices that are heard, the better. So I'm just going to give my personal side to this and opinion on this 300k cap. It's going to be more of a rant, I guess. And I'm going to address both Squex and the people who think this isn't a big deal, so bear with me. First off, this is the scenario that Squex or the Team Ninja or whoever head of DFFO has created with not allowing people who have more than 300k paid gems to purchase anything, which for GL begins March 22nd and for JP it's already implemented now. So it goes, hi Mr. DFFO, I have more than enough gems and tickets to pull, but I'd like to still give you money. Will you take it? No, Mr. Longtime Supporter, stop giving me money or spend your hundreds of thousands or even millions of hard saved free gems first before giving me money. So that's the scenario JP just got implemented and it's confirmed that nothing can be bought, even Mog Pass, if you're over the cap. So we longtime supporters will become free to play then. The meme of Squex Hates Money has actually come into full existence. I have almost 1.1 million gems and that's not including what's in Divine Boards, hence I would have to spend over 800,000 gems and whatever gems come from content that continues to come in, stream rewards, etc. while ignoring my thousands of tickets piling up before I can even go below cap to get a mock pass or a costume. Hell no, don't take my money then. I've seen people saying it won't affect whales and then I see literal actual whales telling them, hey, I'm a whale and it affects me. I can't buy anything, I won't be able to buy anything. And then some people think like, oh my god, 300,000 paid gems, that's so much. How much money would that be if I tried to buy 300,000 right now? Yeah, it sounds like a lot, especially if you purchased it all at once right now. But the way DFFO is built, any veteran who pulls responsibly and spends just on some costumes and mock pass will have hit this. I a thousand percent do not have all the costumes. I have not bought many costumes and I've only got the basic mock pass and I've literally just reached the 300,000 cap, 310 after four years so that amounts to averaging probably around 40 bucks a month or essentially literally a premium mog pass subscription does that sound like a whale or irresponsible spender to you especially as someone who spends a lot of time on this game and creates content on the game all my spending is just as meticulous as my resource management so no it's not just whales affected it affects almost every veteran casual spender aka the game's longest supporters and they're shafting us and this is the most united I've seen everyone be on such a hot topic because it's just so stupid. Everyone I've talked to on this, including myself, is just choosing the free-to-play path if nothing has changed. Because there ain't no way in hell we're dumping our excess gems just to have a costume or a mock pass. So this should alarm everyone because whales and casual spenders, the game needs them to survive. And then we've all lost consumer confidence. And so once the cap comes, most even won't be able to spend even if they wanted to. Squex, this is losing you business now. Many are choosing not to buy like the Gilgamesh costume, including myself, even though it looks great, or other things obviously, until the situation is cleared up with the proper solution. Even if I wasn't at cap or they increase the cap, this hurts business regardless. I would just not spend on certain costumes even though they look cool, but since they are not favorites, I'd rather save my money in my cap room for like Tifa or Aerith wall market dresses, for example. And then there'd be people who would downgrade from premium mock pass to basic like I have just to save room in the cap, etc. It's just terrible business model. Implementing this business model suddenly for a four to five year old game does not work one bit since this game has never utilized its paid gems in any manner. This is just so stupid and it affects everyone in the game, whether free to play or a whale, because if there's a lot of people that are locked out from spending on this game, this game is dying and this game will close. Anyone who is free to play or close to it should be thanking people who support the game for you, not look down on them. It's funny how some have suggested it's Papa Squex looking out for people to cut down on irresponsible spending. First of all, Squex is a business. Their whole goal is to make money. They are not looking out for you. They are not your friend. But do you think that people with gambling addictions are people affected by the cap? The cap only affects people who have plenty of gems. Yes, in every gacha there's a minority of people who need to spend more responsibly, but this cap won't even affect most of them, since their gem count is probably just too low, so they can keep buying and pooling, buying and pooling, buying and pooling, and these people generally eventually fizzle out and move on to other games anyways. This might be what Squex was hoping to turn everyone into, which is the opposite of looking out for us. Squex is not our friend, their business but a stupid one apparently. This is so stupid, it's hard to put my mind around. It's punishing paying players, but not only paying players, but the players who have supported the game the longest. So this is either a really greedy move by Squex, a really incompetent move by Squex, or 
just probably both Squex Team Ninja or whoever the head made this decision. Or one other sad possibility is is they're trying to kill the game for an end of service. So outside of the end of service possibility, which if you're Squex or Team Ninja or whoever, and it's not meant to be ending service, you need to squash this notion immediately, like now, not next stream, or you're losing further consumer confidence and money and business, and you need to change your stupid company policy that will kill your game, which, I mean, if they're competent and that's their intention, then yeah, this will kill the game. Literally nothing good will come of this. I'm just hoping they're incompetent and we'll see what a stupid mistake they made and fix this somehow with the many good solutions that players have suggested because I definitely don't want to see this game die. But in the end, it is just a game. So if it does die, fine. There are bigger things in the world right now. Hearts and prayers to everyone with COVID and Ukraine, etc. going through tough shit. So obviously this game ending is not the biggest of deals, but people, if you do care about this game, this will affect you and say something tell squex that this is not right that something needs to be done and if enough of us tell them and they're not actually trying to end service then they will hopefully fix this quickly all right thanks everyone bye